Okay, so we're here today with Megan. And so we'll start in your living room. Is that a place where you spend much of your time? Yes, uh, I spend a lot of time here. Uh, I watch TV, I play video games here, and sometimes I eat lunch or dinner on my couch. And I also play uh, a lot of piano. So yeah, I spend a lot of my time in this clean living room. <laughs> Thanks to me. <laughs> Thanks to me. Can you tell me more about this poster? Uh, yeah, uh, Friends is one of my favorite TV shows. And at Bishops, sometimes they sell posters. And I saw it and I really liked it because uh, it's not uh, the person on the poster, but uh, keywords or phrases or things in the TV shows uh, that is very really popular and that I say sometimes, like, uh, we were on a break or uh, how you doing? So they're basically stuff that are important to you because it's a TV show you can relate to. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Bye. So you just talked about your TV, your favorite one of your favorite TV shows, but you have a lot of movies and other series. So can you say you're a big TV series and movie yeah, person? Yeah, I, I really love uh, movies and I really love TV shows like One Tree Hill. Here, uh, Dexter. I have all of the Dexters. Uh, all of the One Tree Hills, I have American Horror Story also, and I have PlayStation games. I have like a bunch of movies. I really like movies and TV shows. Would like, you say that this part of your house describes mostly who you are? Because they, they, they're you, the type of new movies you listen to would represent you? Yeah, uh, it describes like my personality and it describes uh, myself too. Uh, the movies are like placed in... Uh, this is all TV shows, and behind it is like some of my favorite movies and new movies that I bought. And here, um, they're placed like those one are my favorite movies. Okay, so the the one you listen to the most, yeah, are like, in front. The one so, I don't want to like uh, see all the time. They're at the back, but those you listen to the most are in the front. Yeah, the one that. The ones that I like Jurassic World or The Mummy, the ones that I know I want to listen to it or just put as a background while I while I do homework, they're in the front, so I can just like grab it and put it and not look for it. Like talking about homework, where do you do your schoolwork and all your um, school stuff? Sometimes I do it on the couch, but since I'm in uh, my midterms, I do it on the table. With <laughs> Tim Bits and Yeah, coffee. do you like Tim Hortons? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I like Tim Bits and I like coffee. And I do it on the table because it's the midterm and I need more concentration and I need to be like, um, have less um, distractions. So I just do it there. So we're now in your kitchen. Do you like to cook? Yeah, I do like to cook. Um, I have two of my favorite uh, recipe books here. Uh, is the Jamie Oliver comfort food and uh, Ricardo's slow cooker favorites. Um, I like. I really like to cook. Uh, it's something that my grandma uh, showed me. So we just did a bunch of cleaning for the purpose of this video. Uh, can you tell me more about your soaps and stuff you use uh, for, to clean? Do you have uh, a preference? Yeah, uh, for the. Uh, show all your products in here. She has a lot. Yeah, I have a lot of products for cleaning. And I have a lot of dishwash um, because sometimes I like to alternate with the smell of it. Uh, right now, I have this sunlight. Uh, Why do you like to alternate between your your dish soaps? I don't know. Sometimes the smell just like gets on my heart and I'm like, ugh. I, I need to change. You need to change? Smell. Yeah, okay. I need to change. I let, and... This one is really good because it's antibacterial, so I feel like my uh, dishes is like... And <laughs> it's the flu season, so you need it. Yeah, and I feel like it's more clean also. And for the disinfectant, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but I like the Attitude brand because I know that I'm... It's biological. Yeah, it's biological, and I know that it's safe. Uh, it's worry-free ingredients and it smells good it smells like thyme and citrus so it smells like fresh 
Okay. All right, can you tell me more about those clots? Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. those are a uh, Christmas gift that I received from uh, my friend's mom. They have cookie recipes on them? This is this one has a, a happy recipe, and this one is a cookie recipe, and yeah. it's uh, vegan or vegetarian. Yeah, it's vegetarian. Probably won't do it because I don't like um, arco noir. But like, okay, you don't like vegan stuff. <laughs> no. Okay, so you have a lot of products. Yeah. You can find that product you have here, or do you have more than you actually use? I have more than I actually use. Like when I get ready in the morning, I probably will use only those two things. Um, but for my hair, I use this. This. This is. A product that I use every night, and I have my attitude uh, and wash also that smells like white tea leaves. And it smells good and it's very friendly. Uh, yeah. I okay, so we're now in your room where you have like again a bunch of posters yep. and decorations and stuff. Uh, what can you say about those posters? You have a Friends one again, yeah, and I a really, Back to the Future one, like, and a Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, I really. My dad, I took a picture in front of the car in Universal Studio, and uh, Belle from Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite Disney princess, and I can relate to her a lot. And I know you use this computer mostly to play games. Yeah. You have a bunch of pictures with yeah. your friends and cousins again. Friends, cousins, and. Co workers. Co workers. And what can you say about your bed? How does it represent you? It's pink. <laughs> and, bed. Hi, my Brandon. and of course, we can't forget our Brandon Gallagher. My favorite hockey player is yeah. to be husband. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doubt about that, but still. So, again, we'll be with Max, then we and I'll be with Brandon Gallagher. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> how what does it mean? What does this poster mean to you? Does it is it really important in your life? What is the place of hockey in your life? Um, hockey was a sport that I used to watch with my father, and uh, yeah, he introduced me to the sport. Uh, not just playing hockey uh, on winter nights, but going to the Bell Center to watch hockey, and. Uh, Brandon became one of my favorites player uh, the first time I went to a game. So yeah, it's not only the sports, but... What it represents to you, it's mostly like... Because you feel close just, to your dad yeah, it's watching just, it. It's an activity that I did with my dad, so it reminds me of him. Okay, and you have a lot of... like.